Hey friends, welcome and welcome back to Eating and Sipping Pretty with Cola. If you are new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe down below and make sure that that post notification bell is turned on all that way you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video. Oh, you guys, I'm so sorry. I forgot this. <laughs> every single time I upload a new video and get a video a thumbs up. Today, guys, I am trying um, Wingstop new chicken sandwich i'm i'm trying well let me say my prayer and then uh try to get a thumbnail and then we'll get this thing cracking and smacking i hope i completed my intro because i got distracted by the tv but father god in the name of jesus i ask that you please bless this food bless it to be nourishing to my body bless those who are a little bit less fortunate in the world in jesus name we pray amen okay so as i was saying i have um chick um uh, chick-fil-a <laughs> Wingstop's new chicken sandwich. I'm, I only got two to try two flavors. I have the original one right here, and then I have the um, the I think it's called Hickory Barbecue, and then I just got some of their corn and some um, honey um, the honey dry rub ring uh, the honey dry rub rings and some fries. Normally, you guys, I do not like Wingstop fries, but today I was like, you know what? everything deserves a second chance let me just see so i asked them i was like can you guys please cook my fries light because normally they be cooked really dark and they taste like oil and they just be gross and they put too much seasoning so i was like can you guys cook my fries light and only put a little bit of seasoning so they did and they actually taste pretty good you guys so um as i said this is original which is regular, no sauce. And then, this is the Hickory Barbecue. And I have ranch. I have two ranch. Oh, and I'm sipping on two different things. My sugar-free drink. Mmm, so good. Sip, sip. And then the, um, the chicken sandwich combo came with a drink. So I just got, like, some high C fruit punch, but... Or high C orange. So, let me... Let me get started. Um, thumbnail. Mm, I'm sure I'll get one. Can y'all see my head? I feel like y'all can't see my head. I don't like it when the head be like cut off. Hold on for one second. Okay. I think I adjusted the camera. Alright, y'all can see that. Okay, anyway. So, let me try the sandwich, okay? Because that's what we're here for, right? So, the sandwich, the sandwich came with two uh, little sad pickles um they have the sad it has the sad face y'all <laughs> okay and then this is what the i've seen other people's plain chicken sandwich it didn't look like this but okay so i'm gonna try this first i'm gonna probably have to dip it in ranch because it looked real dry very dry and I actually asked them to put extra of the um, the um, honey, the hot honey dry rub on my wings. Okay. It's real chicken breast. And have a good flavor. This will be good if they put mayo on it. The plain one. Let me try it dipped in some ranch. Or let me drizzle some ranch on it. Drizzle, drizzle. Oh, I'm sorry. Where's my mouth? Why y'all didn't tell me I didn't offer y'all none? Okay, y'all can try it with the ranch. Hold up. <gasps> try it with the ranch. Go ahead. Take a bite. Mmm. It's about to drip, drip. Drip, 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 drip. All right. I was scared. Okay, here. There's a better one. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah, it, it needs something on it. But the original one, with no sauce on it, just a re regular plain one, is good. To me. Yeah. Let me try this corn because it look real dried out. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. 
Mm hmm. It is right out. Oh, they overcooked this. They definitely did. Mmm. They sure did. Ooh, it's been real stuck in my teeth. I actually like this original one. Y'all let me know if y'all have tried this. Which flavors did you guys try? I'm going to try to get around to trying a majority of them. I know I'm not going to try the Atomic. Or the, um, or the, was it Parmesan? I know I'm not trying that one. Um, excuse me. Mm-hmm. They have that real chicken breast. I like that. I like that original one. Mm-hmm. I'd actually put some mayo on there. Mix it with some mustard. Add some lettuce and tomato and some onion on that thing. Mm, that'll be bomb. I'm telling you right now. Come home and dress your chicken sandwich up. Y'all want to fry with some ranch? This ranch tastes kind of salty. Hmm. All right. Let me try this one. This is the, what? I think it's called Hickory Smoke Barbecue. Let y'all see that. Mmm. More barbecue sauce on this side. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me try it. But, uh, this one is pretty good but I don't like it with the pickles I honestly don't know why mm, I guess but I don't know why these places put pickles on their chicken sandwiches I feel like pickles belong on a regular sandwich and burgers I don't feel like a chicken sandwich go well with um pickles what y'all think I've always thought that I thought that was weird but everybody <clears throat> do things different have a different um type of taste book so it might taste good to some people it tastes all right with the fried one but like i don't have to have the pickle on there let me try this again because i'm i think i in my mind i think i like the plain one better hold on let me see now yeah, i see that hold on I should have got the mango habanero. Because this is not spicy. I should have tried the mango habanero. Something told me to try the mango habanero. So right now. Between these two sandwiches. I prefer the plain one. That's out of the hickory. I think this is called hickory. Um, It's their barbecue one. So. Between the barbecue one and the plain, just the plain fry one, I'm going for the plain one. That's just how it is. I got my Christmas hot sauce, y'all. <clears throat> Sitting up here. <clears throat> Ooh. I have them to put extra of um, the the dry honey rub on it. Sitting up here looking at all this food is making me full. No joke. Probably because I've been drinking that stuff. That juice. So I just wanted to come on here and oh, um, I'm sorry. Um. I don't know. Did I say how are y'all doing today? I hope y'all happy, healthy, and blessed. If I didn't, 
how are y'all doing today i hope you're happy healthy and blessed And another thing I wanted to mention, like, um, I notice if, if someone says something, for instance, give their opinion on something, and you might not agree, I'm, I'm, I'm finding it hard to understand, and I've done this in the past, but, um, As I'm getting older and as I'm becoming wiser, thank you, Jesus, for blessing me um, with wisdom. First of all, thank you, Jesus, for blessing me with wisdom. Thank you for blessing my mother and my grandmother with wisdom to pass it to me. Um, in my opinion, being wise is better than being... Um, because people can be smart, but they can be, like, book smart. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like wisdom trumps that. That's just my opinion. Um, but they can go together, and it could be something wonderful. But I was going to say, I feel like um, when people give their opinion about something, if someone don't agree, and I, like I said, I've done this in the past, or when I was younger, or whatever, they will get kind of upset or mad and I learned you can't do that because it's their opinion and just because you don't agree with them you don't have to be mad but I noticed and everybody has something that they have to work on nobody is um well I don't need to say this but no one is perfect because we know no one is perfect only perfect man was Jesus Christ so um just because just because someone don't agree with what you're saying you don't have to get mad at them or hold some type of animosity towards them just because they don't they might not see it through your lens they people have their own opinion about things I'm not talking about nothing in particular but i just i've seen some times where people will say some stuff and then people will leave comments and it's not agreeing with what the person that made the video said and that person that made the video may get mad like because these people ain't agreeing with them but you might have some people who's going to agree with you and some people's not going to agree with you because everybody thinks differently their experience may be different you know so you just have to be mindful of that to not um be, yeah not to be offended yeah because i was one person who when i kind of i'm still working on it um, wear my heart on my sleeve and I shouldn't do that but um, I do sometimes I don't like this one you guys I don't like this barbecue one at all I'm sorry I don't I just thought I'd say that anyway yeah just try not to get upset or offended if someone don't agree with you and that goes for everybody myself included like I said in the past that was something I had to learn the more that I become the wiser, um, the older that I become, I become more wise, and then I, I'm learning, you know. I learn things when I read my Bible, when I go to church. Not necessarily that I didn't know those things, but God might, um, God might, um, send a confirmation message through um the pastor that's preaching and it's like wow like today that happened to me god sent a message twice he sent the message twice y'all i watched um i watched td jakes in the morning early a.m when i went to church both of them preached about the same exact thing the message was for me directly. When you pray for something and you're asking God for an answer, He'll get that message to you. He's definitely going to get the message to you. 
whether you have to do it through somebody or whatever, it, it, it's coming, you know. And it came, it came through T.D. Jakes and it came through the other pastor at church. Same exact thing. They said it, they said it in, in different ways, but it all ended up to be the same exact meaning. And I was like, wow. I had to call and tell some people about it. I'm like, wow. I've been praying for this, about this, and wondering about this, and wow. He said to me not to give up. Then I went to church, and it felt like the pastor was talking directly to me. He was like, he said, don't give up. Don't throw in a towel. You right there. I'm like, wow. I was like, God. That's all you have to say. That's all you have to say, Father. I heard you. I knocked at your door. You didn't open it when you want, when I wanted you to open it. You sent you left me a voicemail. I called you on the phone, God, and you sent me a voice. You sent me a message. You sent me a voicemail. I heard you. I might sound like I'm rambling, but today was a great day. Every day is a great day as long as you have breath in your body. Always remember that. Always, always, always. But enough about me. What's going on with you guys? Have you guys tried the, um, I think I asked this, but have you guys tried the chicken sandwich and drop a comment to let me know which flavors y'all tried, which one y'all like the best. I started to get the mango habanero. I should have got that because I do not like this barbecue one. I seen someone um, say that this one was a 10 out of 10. I mean, everybody have different taste buds, so maybe to them it is. But I'm not fond of this one. So I hear my son downstairs yelling, y'all. He sure have a big mouth. <laughs> he have a big mouth like his mama. Y'all, I have not been getting sleep. I don't know what's going on. Oh no. Why am I having such a hard I've never in a million years would have thought that I would have a hard time sleeping because I have always been the type of person where sleep is not an issue for me. Now it's like I don't know what's happening. Like I'm tossing and turning once I wake up I can't go back to sleep I know God's trying to tell me something I'm about to transition into something wonderful I know I know I have to be that that has to be the reason because it feels unreal like what's happening to me this sleep thing I don't understand it But I'm going to keep on praying and keep on moving. Because that's what you're supposed to do. Mm hmm. Y'all, I don't like the corn. Let's dry it up like a skeleton and I'm just not feeling it something told me not to get the corn but I wanted to make I wanted to make my setup pretty for you guys <clears throat> this was all for you guys cause actually I was gonna eat something else But I changed my mind and was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and do this video for my friends and tell them what I think. So, you guys, I'm full. I'm going to take a couple more bites of this sandwich over here. But my video might be a little bit all over the place because I start 
I knew what I had in my mind, what I wanted to say, but I kind of be skipping over stuff. I do that a lot. So forgive me. Um. Oh, I guess I gotta drink this drink there. Y'all, it was so hot today. Ugh. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have took my son swimming. It was burning up hot. Woo. Okay. One more bite, you friends. You friends. You friends. One more bite. I was going to say one more bite, you guys. The friends came out. Okay. Mm. I'm sure somebody will eat my leftovers. Maybe. Well, I did good. I ate three flats and one corn. I took two bites out of this and what about three or four bites out of this one? Yeah. And plus I drank that drink. <clears throat> well, you guys, I am full. Cool. So, the verdict is in. I have the plain and I have the um, hickory barbecue. The plain is better than the hickory barbecue, in my opinion. Somebody else might like that one, though. But I like, I prefer this one. And, I, and as I was saying, I would bring it home, put a little bit of mayo and mustard on it with some lettuce, some fresh lettuce and tomato and onion, and it would be smacking. Trust me. It's, it's got a really good flavor, so don't sleep on the, rich, the plain. Just a plain fried one with no sauce. Ooh, excuse me. Okay, friends, y'all know what time it is. It's time to share this video. And make sure you do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Tell a friend so that friend can tell a friend and that friend can tell a friend. Why? Because sharing is caring. Sharing is caring positive vibes only guys be blessed bye <laughs> bye <laughs> bye guys don't forget to keep god first be kind exercise and drink lots of water that's keep god first be kind exercise and drink lots of water now throw up kindness the same way you throw up confetti bye guys peace out love you